Hi guys, good morning. Um, you caught, got me in the car. Well, I'm just leaving uh, B and M. Excuse me, I'm just getting dirt looks off of some people because I'm parked in the disability, disability bay. But I've got my badge. I'm just about to set off because I'm absolutely shattered. Um, just done a little bit of shopping. I will show you some of the stuff I got at B and M when I get home. But I didn't get much. It was just like basically cleaning and food. God, you can't uh, live without any of that, can you? Anyway guys, I'll catch up with you when I get home, okay? Look at me, I'm all flustered. <laughs> oh, I have to laugh a little before I go because someone left a comment <laughs> on one of my videos. I deleted it. Did I? Yeah, I deleted it and re I reported it because some of it wasn't nice. Uh, she says, you're too old to be doing this. I went, no, you're never too old to do anything if you put your mind to it and that's what I'm trying to do this week I try to think positive I'm boiling up I'm going to open a window you've got I'm going to stop thinking positive I'm going to start challenging myself a little bit and I'll see where I go from that anyway guys I'll catch up when I get on see you in a bit hi guys I forgot to do what I got from being a man well range I mainly got food because Iceland's in there and I got a couple of rolls of wallpaper and one of them massive chews that I could look for living dog. Anyway, so I thought today my video are about living with dyslexia and how it's impacted my life. And you're probably going to go, oh, God. <laughs> and I thought, you know what it is? It's not, it's not talked about enough. And a lot of people in the world obviously deal with this. And I'm saying with the maths, Bit, but I can never pronounce this calculator. Is that it? This calculator? I don't know. I never got all through my childhood. I never got any help or support through with that. I used to, and I think that's probably because my work never had, looked like I had any issues because what I did as a kid, because I couldn't spell and I couldn't read some words, my friend were good at that. She was sat outside of me. We're still friends to this day. She's been my best mate back then. Um, it's, it's hard for her to find the time to message. <laughs> and I, it's vice versa. I, I forget to message her sometimes. But anyway, I have to copy her work. All the teachers didn't realise that. I didn't know because I was sick as bricks growing up. I'm not going to lie. I did. I struggled in school. Struggled in first school, middle school and upper school. Back then, that's what they were called. Now it's primary school and secondary school. Um, like I say, obviously, you never got picked up at, at school until later on. Um, but oh, that's oh, you know when you're too afraid to ask for help. That was me. I'm like my friend. How do you spell? Can I just look at that so I can cop uh, see how you're spelling? And instead of copying this word I needed, I copied their work. <laughs> And understanding things as well, I struggle with. I can't concentrate long enough on a, on a certain subject, which I'm trying to learn on. Um, I get I'm easily distracted. That that used to be always thing that got brought up. My mum never used to come to a uh, parents' evening because she had agoraphobia, and reports that got sent home. She messes about in class. Um, well. You know, when you're trying to, I don't know, not look like a class, class clown or what they call them, but back then it was like struggling to fit in. Big ass the van going past. Big ass the van. I am getting a sore throat though. It's killing me. Um. Dog. I've just cleaned my bloody legs and I've got dog hair everywhere. Millie! <laughs> so, yeah. So, recently, not recently, let me just figure out what I'm talking about. I never went to college because I was scared. Um, because I thought, if I go there, everyone's going to know I can't spell and I can't say certain words. Now, still to this day, I need to, if I can't read a word, 
I can write and I can read, but there's certain words I cannot read and I cannot spell. That's where kids come in under. And now the phones do it all for you. But I've recently been told by my therapist that his daughter was dyslexic. And in university, she bought a pen. Now, I looked at these pens and I nearly fell off my seat. I'm like, Jesus Christ. It's like a pen for people with dyslexia. And you scan it over the word and I think it says the word. Or you could say, can you speak? <laughs> it goes up in price. So I'm guessing the expensive one is where you speak into it and it spells it out. Pardon me. That's where Google comes in handy for me. What does this say? <laughs> what does different... I can spell different. I, got, I once got excited. I'm not lying. I got excited one day when I were in upper school. I went, oh, I can spell differently. Different. I can spell this and I can spell that. Oh, I've never, you know when you get so excited over something little like that? Especially when you can't spell either. And my mum were one of them. <laughs> Do your own work. And, but I was always on a computer game or having a brew and stuff. You're too afraid to ask for help because I didn't want my mum knowing it or a thing is, problems, issues at school. Um, so it's really hard when it comes to writing a letter, trying to understand when you get a letter through the post and you struggle to understand what it means because I do struggle sometimes with that. If it's basic ones, it's fine. If it's anything like, I dear me, I, I get myself into a bit of a tiz, or whatever that word is. Um, needed to write emails, knowing where to put full stop, grammar, question mark, and well, question marks and all. How to spell the, oh, have you ever forgotten how to spell the? Yeah, oh my lord. I, I mean, anyone can do it. How do you spell? How do you spell the? You know, that try to, I, and that's something else I struggle with. Is trying to pronounce a word. It's like <laughs> I couldn't even spell dyslexia. I had to get Hannah to thingy on my phone, and I probably forget now how to spell it anyway. Now I can't spell it. Off, but if someone said, "Can you spell such and such?" Now there's a road sign here, and for the love of money, I can't say it. I'm not even going to embarrass myself. But yeah, it's really hard. Day-to-day -day things like reading labels or spelling. If you need to write something like in my diary. In my diary, it's just me that's going to be reading it. So I'll just write, I'll, I'll just write it the way I think it's spelled. And then when you check, you're like, no, that's not like that, is it? No. Like B. Like I, I'll be a few minutes and I'll put an extra E on it. And yeah, thankfully when I w applied uh, oh, back in 2021, I, I got offered a job in as a support worker in Signet Mental Health Unit. But obviously because Olivia came home, I had to decline after I got all started and everything, which is fair enough. But she's old enough now where I can probably go and do that again once my pain levels and stuff are sorted. But I had to say, look, if I tell... The, the was really good about it as well, if you dislike it, I just need that extra time to do my paperwork. I'm not good at IT either, computers just don't. Words and numbers, numbers just don't mean anything to me. So I'm trying to learn on that, I'm trying to get the help for that. But yeah, li daily living is really hard when you've got to figure out how to spell something. And how to, sorry, <laughs> someone's looking at me, hello Inda. Um, so it's really hard and it's not an easy thing. People go, oh, you just can't spell, get over it. Well, it's hard when you, you're dealing with it because you get embarrassed, you don't, you, you avoid situations. So I avoided college because of it and because I didn't want to be around people. I'm a bit like that now. I, I want to go to college and I want to, Get off your phone, you pleb. He's driving on his phone. I want to go to college and learn something, but the thought of being around all these people and the thought of having to do maths and English. Now, my English, I got a D on both English. 
if I had uh, done my handwriting a lot neater and put full stops and grammar um, question marks, I'd have probably got a C, but I didn't. I was panicking. I was, the hall was full of people. I could feel it all going in. I'm rushing and just writing. And, yeah, I'd have got a C, but because I'd dinged, I rushed it and that. And I ain't got a clue what I got for maths because I winged that because I, I didn't have a clue. So, you know, people with dyslexia or any forms of learning difficulties, you avoid situations so you don't get embarrassed, you don't get put on the spot. Um, like if I'm in a restaurant, say for a celebration, or if I can't say, oh, Tom, what's that? Or oh, Hannah, Hannah's pretty good at that. Um, or can you do this? Can you? And they don't realise, you don't realise how much help you need with certain things because... You're too afraid to ask for help, and that's me. <laughs> but now I want to do things, um, and I want to start learning, and I need to retain the information because otherwise, me learning it and it's going out the window, it's no good, you know what I mean? Especially working with people with mental health illnesses. And also, I've just forgotten what we're going to say. I work better on the job than doing paperwork. I learn better on the job, should I say. Um, like, for instance, when I was in hospital for my mental health, my first ever, what, well, second breakdown I had, I, were, I was transferred to an hospital signet in Arrogate, and one last, I was just like, just relaxed, I was just there just screaming, and it's happened a few times since when I've been in hospital and I just throw myself into it. I don't think about the dangers. I just go in and try and support and help that person. And usually it's okay. You get the odd, I got the odd one where they were really nasty towards me and didn't want to know. But other than I just sat, um, she didn't want to talk to anybody. And I just sat by her bedroom door, slightly ajar, just started talking to her. And I, calmed, I managed to calm her down and I felt really good and that's what made me also want to be to work in with the mental health. It's just the paperwork to do. You could do with one of them recorders, talk to a computer. This is this is what happened at five o'clock in the morning. There was an incident there. How did you escalate it? You know what I mean? So this is why I'm trying to do as much as the free courses I can to try and retain the information. And if I can do that, it's all I can do, you know, and I don't be, I've made myself believe I'm thick and can't achieve anything, so if I can achieve passing a course even though I didn't get the points that I needed, I passed it, but if it were for full stops and blah, 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 then I'd probably got a higher thingy. But I'm going to start researching illnesses and stuff like that and writing it all down and then practicing it in my head what it is all about. And then, you know, like university, they should go on with experience as well. And that's what annoys me. Same with jobs, if you're applying for jobs. If you've lived the situation, then you, I think you should be able to work like that, you know what I mean? Oh, we can't rock the what happened. But yeah, anyway, that's me babbling on. Living with dyslexia is really hard because you just you just worry about what's... Oh, sorry, I've got a bit of phlegm in there at the back of my throat because I'm going to sore throat. It's... So you just worry about any letters, writing, emails, or whatever it is. Or if someone catches you out on a spelling mistake, boom, and they think that, like I did with the Hyde fam, so I'll have to comment on the Ingham's video once about the scissors. And a few of you have said you, you noticed it as well. And they picked up on my grammar and spelling. I thought, you nasty little shits. But um, that's when I contacted Sarah. But yeah, people, words, uh, that to your tongue does not have a, bear, a, bean, a bone. So... Watch what you say to folk, because words hurt. They really do hurt. And you don't know what that person's going through. So like I say, my dyslexia, it makes me panic, worry, don't know what 
you know, well, I'm always on edge. Oh my God, what does that say? I hope people don't realise I can't read that word. And it just puts me off applying for stuff like courses um, and other, like, jobs and stuff. And that's what's made me delayed in life is that is just that I put it all off because of the fear of uh, someone picking on me uh, and yeah <laughs> so now I'm 45 and like I got told you're never too old to learn a new trick or job should I say <laughs> or whatever I'm gonna leave you on, leave you on that one because I've been banging on for 15 minutes and uh, I'm now got to get Olivia. So thanks again for watching, guys. Let me know if you support dyslexia and how do you cope and do you have one of them pens? And if you do, how do the work? Are they great? Before I purchase one, purchase one. Um, but yeah, don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button if you're new to this channel, and the notification bell. I'll see you in the next video. See you later. Bye bye.